In. We're about to then put the square in for two different legislations, one of them here, one in Colin Cobb. Um, the discussion to talk about the meeting with Dr. Young, uh, response to closure, once we like to handle events. That takes about 30, so with our new ending time being updated to being around 7 p.m. give or take. All right, is there a motion regarding these amendments? Move to approve the agenda for March 10th. As amended. As amended. All right, um, all in favor, raise your hands now. All opposed? Uh, motion carries. Um, up next, we've got the minutes from last meeting. So these are our minutes. I'll probably scroll through them. So move. Well, well, someone does have a seat. Sorry, we don't have that many chairs. Just changes made by Dean. There are motion regarding the minutes. Move to approve minutes on March 3rd through the last week. All right, all in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. All right, and since the last time, I do like to see the entire order, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, come to the front. All right, someone pull up the clerk of office and mess this up. Mm -hmm. Raise your right hand. Oh, well, it should be in the box with the live stream. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. In the meantime, raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your name. I do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That it was basically executed. That was basically executed. The Office of Finance Board representative. The Office of Finance Board representative. And will to the best of my will. That's not it. Is. That's not it. And will to the, of the UBC Student Government Association. And will to the UBC Student Government Association. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Promote and defend. Promote and defend. The interests and well-being. The interests and well-being. Of UMBC's undergraduate population. Of UMBC's undergraduate population. Congratulations. <laughs> Great, the UMBC part. All right, so you're now a full fledged voter member of this board. Um, legislation. So up next, we have FBO 259 9-19-20 which is amending our crop rules. Um, the main changes to add in is a section under 8.4 promise of voting to add in virtual meetings. Um, basically saying we don't do virtual meetings, but in the state where the university is not closed, uh, due to some emergency situation, and the state of Maryland itself has declared a state of emergency that the chair will have the power to call online meetings. The second one details the information on these meetings, that they'll happen with mandatory attendance, information access will be distributed 48 hours prior to the meeting, and there are some restrictions. Um, voting legislation will be allowed during meetings, but internal elections will not be held during these meetings. Secret ballot votes are prohibited during online meetings, and executive session is also prohibited during online meetings. Hi, I come in. Yes, Justin? Wait, even though executive session might be prohibited, how is it going to be live or <coughs> We, we can record yeah. our online meetings with WebEx and then push, publish those onto YouTube. We don't have to live, we don't have to watch it. Yeah, this is a transparent mm -hmm. overview, but we are allowed to kind of, uh, we are allowed to uh, do that, but uh, because of the nature of it, like, it 
executive, executive session and other things because it makes it a lot more difficult. And I believe that we should be as transparent as possible, but not have over the chair. So those are the main changes. Um, I'll read. Do you think amending the proxy is the best thing, or should we just suspend the proxy? The issue is that we can't suspend the proxy unless there's a quorum of here. So we have to get five of us in this room, or in a room, to vote to suspend the proxy rules for that meeting. Believe me, it was a few words. Yeah, I don't think this is bad. I think this is actually really good and also reflects the um, evolving nature of um, meetings and, and allows you to have business continuity. If there's something like this, a natural disaster, a hurricane, like that you're moving to online classes, but you still want to do it with the work, it gives you that the main issue of why this came up and has to come up in the past is because we were able to delay things by one or two weeks when we're simply day by day budgets. The fact that the budget time has become so much more essential to the point where missing a meeting will set us back over eight hours of work, uh, which is why we're establishing this as a safeguard and protection in place. Uh, none too soon because while this legislation was written prior to the university closing, the fact that we will be within online classes for the two weeks following. Uh, while it's still first right to have in person meetings, uh, the most likely will not be able to happen. Uh, which is why we are trying to push this through. Um, but if you have changes or things to make more specific, I tried to make it as specific as possible by having not only the university state of emergency, but also the state of Maryland being the state of emergency. Um, but I am completely open to amending it to create more specificity to ensure that it's not used out of reason, if that makes sense. Uh, because it is creating a possible exception to the rules that we've established. And I want to make sure that we only use the exception when it's really needed. So I tried to make this as specific as possible, um, including ensuring that certain during these meetings, uh, with the bare minimum being allowed is essentially talking about the legislation. Um, that being said, uh, whereas the increase in the of HCS has threatened normal operations of the University of Milwaukee County, and whereas the SB Fine Court has recognized the need to remain a functional legislative body regardless of the state of the university, and whereas the procedural rules of the SB Fine Court do not allow for proxy voting, and whereas the procedural rules of the SB Fine Court can be amended with the two thirds vote of the president, Therefore, be resolved that the procedural rules of the SGA Finance Board be amended as stated in Section A. Um, is there a motion regarding, uh, in terms of any amendments, changes, or uh, approvals? Move to approve SBO 359-1920. Second. All right. All in favor, please raise your hands now. All opposed? All right. Uh, eight to four. 740 against one abstaining, one not present, and the motion carries. That's a just a not. Uh, um, all right, up next we have Tom Press. Is anyone here from TEDx at UBC? That's you guys? Yes. All right, uh, we have two requests for you guys, so we'll go ahead and open up the first one, and let me go ahead and post the survey on people. just so you know who all of us are, since there's a lot of us gathered here in kind of a small space. After that, uh, we'll give an opportunity for you guys to talk and introduce your problems and stuff. Um, so let's start with introductions. I'll go ahead and start. Uh, my name is Lane Kim. I'm currently serving as the chair of the Finance Board. I use she your pronouns, and I'm a conditional voting member. We'll center this way. Yeah. Candace Martinez, Dawn, Assistant Director for Leadership and Governance. I also serve as the SBA Advisor. I use she your pronouns. I am not a voting member. Hi there, I'm Zane, uh, Vice President for Student Organization, Senior Pronouns, and I'm a voting member. Hi, I'm Elsa. I'm a finance board staff. I use she/her pronouns, and I am a voting member. Previously, um, coordinator for student organizations, finance board advisor, she/her pronouns. I do not vote. Justin Connor, finance board vice chair. I am a voting member. Uh, Dean, secretary for finance board. I use she/her pronouns, and I'm a non-voting member. Um, I'm Elsa. I'm first year ambassador, and I'm not a voting member. Uh, Park Patel, first year ambassador, and I'm not a voting member. If you guys want to fill in then we'll go with that. Oh, you are? Okay. okay. Just, just an instruction for your name and pronouns. Okay. My name is Sophia Gunnar-Steele. I'm um, from the Chamber. Jennifer Cobb, pronouns Chamber. 
Hi, I'm Patrick Reed. I serve as the Executive Vice President of the Student Government Association, uh, UC Hi, I'm Julia. Um, I actually work for Hey, I'm Ryan Barron. I'm a voting member of Finance Board at UC Hampton Hills. Hi, I'm Rachel Crossmore, Finance Board Representative. I usually refer to my name. I'm a voting member of Finance Board at UC Hampton Hills. Good afternoon, I'm the Master of Treasury. Good afternoon, I am a voting member. Oh, it's a candidate. That's why I'm first year on the Board. Hi, my name is Francis, and I'm the SGA President. Um, so you want to go ahead and uh, introduce your org, um, what TEDx is, uh, your history, the full semester of it, um, and uh, why you're here today. Floor is yours. All right. Um, can I stand up? You, you can stand if you want to come and see it. I'll try and make that. Um, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I'm the uh, president of TEDx ABC. Um, we were basically a week in... September? No, this October. is in December. December. December, November, somewhere around there. We've been um, planning since September. Yeah, we've been planning since, uh, you know, mid, early last year. Um, but yeah, basically we're a new student organization on campus that's um, aimed at um, storytelling and building community on campus. Um, specifically, um, we're focused on undergraduate storytelling, but we're open to um, hearing stories from anyone within the OBC community, um, including faculty, staff, alum. Um, yeah, so we have confirmed a date for our event next year. Um, it's hopefully going to be held um, on Sat Sunday, November 8th, 2020, in the Dance Cube in the fall. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at right now. We've been, you know, sourcing sponsorships from people, um, looking for collaborations and partnerships and whatnot. Um, yeah. And the gender. Um, I just showed. Do you guys have an image of your shirt design that you want to share? Um, it'll just be like the logo. With, it's the, it'll just say like TEDx and you see. Um, I don't know if you have the logo up there, but. I haven't been attached yet. Um, okay. So that's just something that um, if you want, you can pass it through today. But if your logo gets rejected by the university uh, on the copyright grounds, we won't be able to help reimburse you for that. Okay. Uh, but you can send it to myself or Candice via checked over. Mm -hmm. um, before you can it. Apologies. Okay. Um, yeah. Interesting fact they were inspired by, if I remember correctly, TEDx at John Hopkins when they had their kind of event. Yeah. Uh, and one of the speeches that got to them was that of Mohammed Khalid, former mm -hmm. medical rep. So they saw it. Like, why do they have that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, interesting fact, yes. Uh, if I find that out. Um, but this is their first request. These will be for t shirts and combination materials to advertise the existence um, for a total of $200 from the first request. This will be using the t shirt section of the link. Um, but yeah. Uh, any questions for the club at this time? All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move into a quick period of discussion. Uh, so during discussion, only fine for reps can talk amongst themselves. So you won't be able to talk during this time. If you hear anything that feels out of place or you feel like your words are misconstrued, make a note of it. We'll give you an opportunity afterwards to address anything. All right. Uh, with that, we're in discussion. And want to start with Bella? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should just move on to a little bit. <laughs> I guess like where are you planning on where are they planning on like purchasing the t shirts? if you'd like you can respond to that. Yeah, we're looking at a few vendors right now because um TEDx uh, as an organization, like the national level, gives us a lot of discounts um through like because we are also part of the organization as well. Um, so we're looking at Zazzle, um, that's other than that, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Now a question for the org, is there any reason that both requests are limited to $200? Because both, you're, you're able to request up to $300 from both the merchandise and the marketing plan. So. I'm, I'm 
Okay. Just want to make sure that, <laughs> that you're aware. <laughs> like I knew that it was up to 300, but I, I it wouldn't make any sense for me to ask. Them. Yeah. Okay. Also, if we don't know how We'll find out the ones that do their requests for teachers and we'll put a stipulation for legislation when it goes to SAP or SAPS. Okay. Do you all understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna actually went really quick and I just want to make sure you understand the ten dollars cap on. Alright. Um any other discussion points? Alright, like to move through these questions. Second. All in favor? All opposed? Alright. Do you have anything else you guys would like to do? In that case, I'd like to introduce FBL 360-1920, which approval of TEDx's, uh, TEDx at UBC's Spring 2020 uh, SAHAS request for the total amount of $200. Is there a motion on the floor? Move to approve FBL 360-1920. Second. Second. Okay. All right, any abstentions? All right, all in favor, please raise your hands now. All right, all opposed? All right, 7-4, seven, 7-4, four, seven, four, zero against, one abstaining, one not present. The motion carries. So that's the first part, and then we're going to rush over to this. The second request that they have is for their merchandise marketing section. This should be request number 102. Um, and this is basically, for our first they from the teacher fund, and now this is going to be for their banner and debris way, and this is their marketing fund. Uh, so they're hoping to get uh, a banner. Um, do you have anything else additional you'd like to say about this one in particular, or are you good with what you've already done so far? Um, yeah, this I I'm just how I submitted this one over here because we had um, more discussion on how, what we wanted, how we wanted to advertise um, specifically uh, speakers for our event. Um, with that being said, I'd like to move straight into the voting. Um, are there any objections? All right, with that being said, I'd like to move to or introduce FBL 361 Deficit 20, which is approval of TEDx's SAHAS request again, again for the total amount of $200. Is there a motion on the board? Move to approve FBL 361 Deficit 20. Second. All right, any abstentions? All in favor, please raise your hands now. All opposed? Seven four, zero against, one abstaining, and one not present. The motion carries. Congratulations, you got the money. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys have got funded. Uh, Scott can go ahead and walk you out. He'll spin the processes of how to use the money that we just gave you. Okay. And you just toss it over so you can have a seat. Sorry, you can sit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I can check the live. Is that custom made? No. no. It's, it's 
First year ambassador, I'm not a voting member. Uh, Dean Secretary for Finance Board, I'm a non voting member, Nike City, Dean of Products. Right. I'm Justin Connor, I'm the Vice Chair of the Finance Board. I use he, him pronouns, and I am a voting member. We're a youthly coordinator for student organizations. I serve as a Finance Board advisor. She has her pronouns, I do not vote. Hi, I'm Austin here. I'm a finance board rep. I use the pronouns. I am a I'm Zane, vice um, president of student organization, he him pronouns, <clears throat> and I'm a voting member on finance board. Kayla Parkinson, I'm the director of leadership and government. <laughs> I also serve as SBA advisor. I use the pronouns, and I am not a voting member. And my name is Nick Kim. I serve as the finance board. I use the pronouns, and I'm a traditional board. My name is Francis, I use her pronouns, and I'm the SJ president, and I'll be back. It's nice to meet you all. I'm Anna Pierce, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the treasurer for the Hot Beverage Club. So, if you would like me to continue my speech? Yes. Wonderful. So, uh, I don't know how many of you know actually about our club. Uh, we started this past year, and it's just a place for people to come, kind of have a place to relax, and just drink the hot beverages of their choice, or we provide different, I guess you could say flavors of beverages throughout the year for trying to get some cultural interaction and teach people about the different beverages of the world. So this, sorry, this specific uh, request is for t-shirts, and part of the reason that we're asking for them is because a lot of the board members are seniors or going to be seniors next year and we're hoping to kind of integrate some of our new members more into the club so that we have kind of a continuation <laughs> and we're hoping that having t-shirts will both increase our presence on campus as well as give kind of a connection to the newer members to our club. All right. Does anyone have any questions for the organization at this time? We're going to go ahead and move into discussion. During discussion, only the finance board representatives can talk amongst themselves, not the members. Um, so you won't be able to talk during this time frame. Uh, it's a time for the board members to discuss amongst themselves. So if you hear anything you feel is out of place, if you feel like the words have been misconstrued or there's an error that you picked up on, just take a note of it and we'll give you a time afterwards to address those concerns. Thank you. All right, with that, we're in discussion. Does anyone want to start us off? Please, I'm Hansel. Oh, sorry. Oh, all meeting? Yes, yeah, staff members are going in. Come on, people. Uh, every meeting, every event counts as one now. Now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna move our meeting online. Yep. All right. Unless you want to table everything in front of you. Or two. Or unless you want to vote on this, right? Yeah. All right. So I like to move your question. All in favor, raise your hands now. All opposed. All right. With that, we can like move. All right. 